Hello everybody, welcome again. Today we will see how to assign the traffic signals in this intersection by using the traffic uh, or the signal control in the PTV VSIM. Actually, traffic signal is used as intro, uh, like it's an instructing device that indicates the road user to act according to the displayed sign. So following the traffic signal ensures road safety, the safety of the pedestrian and it helps to make things simple to understand. These signals have been using a universal color code like green, amber, red, yellow, flashing, something like that. So let's start. So to start, we have to click here on the signal control. In the signal control, there is no signal control or group is assigned. Here, click add. So immediately the new window will pop out like this. Don't forget to give name. Okay. It says it's like signal group one. So here you can configure the controller. Again, you can see the signal timetable configuration, the signal controller detector. So if you click any signal, there is also another window. So under this window, you have to name it again, signal controller one. Because you have to have maybe sometimes in some project you can have like a lot of controller unit by the way don't forget that to have like at least the actual data of or the number of vehicles on the ground because it helps to design the timing of the signal uh, heads okay so in the signal group you have to create the groups like for example signal group one for each bound okay so when you came here on each bound we have the lights okay the red amber green again for each group you can assign the minimum duration of the lights or the signal heads after that you if you have the intergreen intergreen time between the the two phases you can assign over here actually there is intergreen time you can ask you have to assign over here okay if sometimes if you don't have this uh timing you can use the synchro uh, the synchro software to uh, plan or to have the timings of these signal heads so based on this if you go to the signal program you are going to make a program here click it adds one program Okay, in this program, if we see immediately all the signal groups are added. So based on this signal program, you have to adjust like which one should be like on the first level, which one should be like on the second, like the sequences. Okay, the sequence based on the cycle time, everything you have to assign over here. Well, don't forget then after that to save this file. So, after that, now we have the signal group. Just go to the signal head. Click the signal head. So, we are going to assign the signal head here for each boundary. Each for each bound. Just right click and add new signal. Immediately, new window pops up. So, here you have to type the name. Like, say one or two, whatever. Okay. And you have to connect the signals with the signal group. Here we have the signal group. Okay. Signal group one. Again, the end of this signal group should be what you have to assign this all. Also, you have to assign the vehicles which are controlled by this signal head. Okay. Then, after putting all the signal heads, on each entry and exit for this case we have like more than 60 signal heads I think so based on this we can simulate but before simulation we have to know about the parameters actually this simulation has its own main important okay so in the simulation setup you have to make you have to change or you have to control the period this means the simulation second it's like equals to one hour okay you have to set here the starting time and the start the the start date 
okay again the simulation resolution this means the quality of the simulation it determines the quality of the simulation when the number of this simulation resolution is higher and higher that means like it should be like more than zero it becomes higher and higher then the simulation resolution is very nice again another thing is random scene if you remember that during the vehicle input time we use the scholastic not the exact value so when we are using the scholastic value for the vehicle input we have to change this random seed that means like it's advisable to use odd numbers increasing sequentially like to until higher but don't forget that like to insert more than one number okay it's important to like not to insert the same number another one is the number of runs this determines the number of simulation okay again here also we have random seed increment the increment of this random seed okay so based on this we can make a simulation this simulation speed control the speed of the simulation here you have to assign the number of calls okay to all calls of the computer because the software have to use all the calls it's important to have like all the speed then click ok then when you start the simulation we have such kind of nice signal heads okay so this is how the signal controlling look like next time we'll see how to have the evaluation or the result of these all processes thank you very much see you